Hi, ladies. Um, I have a lot of things that I need to talk about with you guys, and I have been debating whether or not to make this video for almost three weeks. Um, I've had a lot going on in my life, and through it all, I just didn't know what I wanted to say to you guys and how I wanted to say it or if I even wanted to talk about it. Um, so I gave myself some time and I decided that, you know, it's time for me to talk about what's happening and yeah. So first of all, I want to say thank you to all of you who have supported me and been there for me and offered kind words and all of the things that I have struggled with, um, since starting my YouTube journey. I never expected to have such amazing people um, watch my videos and comment on my videos and offer such amazing words and things like that. Um, unfortunately, the events in my life have caused me to stop making videos and stop, just stop. <laughs> You know, in my last video, I had told you guys that I was no longer trying to conceive and blah, 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 um, that there were, sorry, I just got out of the shower and my hair is a crazy hot mess. Um, you know, I told you guys there were certain things that were happening and that I was no longer trying to conceive. That is still true. Um, I am no longer trying to conceive at all, like at all, um, so I wanted to make this video and to tell you guys how much I love you and appreciate you. Um, but I also wanted to tell you the direction that this channel will be moving forward with. So, you know, if you guys want to unsubscribe to my channel, then I completely understand. Um, so, yeah. With that being said, um, I just wanted to say thank you and tell you how much I appreciate you all of you and you know especially there's a handful of you women out there who oh my gosh I could not have made it through this last year without you and you know who you are you know you're the ones that always comment on videos and send me messages and are just so kind and I love you guys I really do and I wish you all the best in your journeys and I'll still be here watching and commenting but anyways, so with that being said, of three minutes of me blabbing, um, my husband and I are splitting up. And I haven't wanted to talk about it because it's something so personal. I'm not going to go into details, um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that is what I'm dealing with right now. Um, next week, we live like a thousand miles away from my home state. And so next week, my dad and my brother are driving down to come get me and my son. And we are moving home. And my husband is staying here and working. And yeah, we haven't discussed divorce or anything like that. Who's to say how things are going to go in the next six months? I don't know. I'm hoping and praying and I have faith that God will bring us back together. That this is just a journey that we need to go on. And if it doesn't happen, then there's nothing I can do about that. I, I don't know. I've tried and tried and tried things and he's tried and tried and tried things, but I really just, I guess the best way I can describe it is the best way I've described it to him. Um, you know, he, he was the one that, that decided this, um, that he wasn't happy anymore and things like that. But, um, honestly, like I had told you guys in my last video, you know, I really lost myself a long time ago in trying to conceive. I just consumed my, it's consumed my life. It consumed every aspect of my life and I really lost a grip on reality. And I really lost a grip on who I am as an individual, not as a mother and not as a wife, but who I am. I don't know who that person is anymore. I lost that person a long time ago because I've been so consumed with everything else that's going on in my life. So 
I just wanted to say that I'm not looking for any sympathy. I, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want sympathy. I don't want any of it because I just, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with any of it. So, um, I just thought that I owed you guys a little bit of an explanation as what's going on. And I knew that eventually when I start making videos from my home state, you guys are going to see a difference in me. You're going to see things uh, different, you know, surroundings. And I knew that eventually I was going to have to say something. Um, I mean, I could have lied, but that's not being truthful. I could have just said, oh, I'm just somewhere else. <laughs> so that's kind of what's happening. And um, like I said, I have faith and hope that. I mean, there's just no freaking way that this is the very end for us. There's no way. We have been through too much, and we have been in and out of each other's lives since we were little kids. And I just don't believe in my heart that this is the very end of our journey over stupidity and just stupid things. And I just think that deep down inside, I feel like we just need to go on our own journey and... Maybe God will bring us back together. Maybe we'll... What is this? Like, ugh, my hair is being a crazy psycho. <laughs> so, I'm okay. Um, I'm doing a lot better now. You know, obviously my face is all broke out and stuff because I'm stressed the mother scratch out. But... So, yeah. I'm okay. My son's okay. My husband's okay. We're okay. It's just... I haven't really... It's, it's taken me a while to talk about it. Um, the only people that know are our immediate family and our immediate friends, and that's hard enough to deal with. So I didn't want to involve everyone else, you know, and I'm, I try to be a private person, as you guys know, you know, I, I try to keep certain things private and I do that to protect myself, I guess, and protect my son. And I just try to do what I feel is best. So I didn't really want to come on here and be like, hey, this is happening.